Hello there and welcome to a special video for today. Why are we not seeing more tank games and tank simulators being made? And why do I think that the ones that we do have, the more modern ones at least, are completely missing the point? Let's take for example IL-2 tank crew. You have tanks, you have aircraft, but in my opinion to make a good tank simulator you need so much more than that. You need to have infantry, you need to have their vehicles, transports, you need to have defensive positions, anti-tank weapons, artillery, airplanes, tanks, in short, you need combined arms. Because think about it, if you have a tank simulator with basically just tanks, you are very limited in the variety of missions that you can offer to the player. It will always be something along the lines of Drive your tank over there and shoot any enemy tank that you meet. Or, here is a defensive position, take out any enemy tank that approaches. And that gets very repetitive after a while. If you want to make a good tank simulator, I think you need to make a good combined arms approach. And that is just what we are going to be doing today. Behind this hill is a little town full of Soviets that have entrenched themselves there and we will remove them from that town. We have a whole bunch of Panzer Grenadiers with their half-tracks. Not just these guys, there are more of them all around us. We have a Panzer IV standing by to provide long-range fire support. We have a Verbal Wind to provide anti-air support. There is a Nebel Werfer here on the hill to provide some artillery support. And I will be commanding that thing over there. The keen-eyed among you might already recognize what it is. Yeah, that will be quite fun. I really don't get why not more developers are making tank games or tank simulators. Because when you think about it logically, there are some pretty amazing flight simulators out there. Just off the top of my mind, IL-2, DCS, both very popular with a lot of players. If you are a new player and, to and you want to get into a flight simulator, you need to be ready to invest a lot of time to learn how to fly the aircraft and air combat tactics. And you also need to invest money to buy the hardware. You need a joystick and a head tracking solution at the very least. A throttle and rudder pedals improve your experience even more. So that's, that's a pretty big barrier to entry, right? Well, if you have a tank simulator or a tank game, all that you need is your mouse and your keyboard and you're good to go. And anybody can drive around the battlefield in a vehicle and shoot at stuff. Surviving, of course, is a different thing entirely, but... A new player doesn't take too much time until he starts to have fun in a tank game. So, I really don't understand why developers are not making something like this. Make good tank simulators with an engaging single player story campaign maybe. Or even multiplayer, I don't care. But I think there's a market for that. I think there are a lot of people out there who would love to have more good tank simulator games. And nobody's making them. Before you spam my comment box, I know Gunner Heat PC is out there. But that's still pretty early in development. And if that game is successful or not will depend a lot on how they do infantry and how well they do their AI. Because from what I've seen so far, the AI is pretty basic. We will have to see if they can improve on that. I will take a look at that game eventually once it matures enough. And well, since we do not have anybody making these tank simulator games, we have to make do with what we have. And well, today we are not looking at Steel Fury, today we are looking at a game that has been modded a lot to look like this. This is Arma 3 with the Iron Front mod. Some of you might know Iron Front, it was a standalone World War II game, but it had issues. Um, it was full of bugs, the performance was even by armor standards extremely poor. It was based on the Arma 2 engine, but not made by the Arma 2 devs. And 
they didn't have a lot of marketing budget, I think, and I think it was a commercial failure. I don't think we'll ever see another Iron Front again. But the assets can be used in Arma 3 with the Iron Front mod. And that's what we'll be doing today. Let's get everybody into the vehicles. You will not find this scenario on the internet. I've made this one myself in the Arma 3 editor. If you know what you're doing, you can make a scenario like this in an hour about. Yeah, about an hour. Since I don't know what I'm doing, this took so, so, so much longer. You have no idea how many hours I've spent on this. It's actually crazy. So I'd appreciate it if you leave a like for the video or subscribe to the channel so that I see that this effort is appreciated. Also, please do let me know in the comments if you would like to see more Arma 3 content on the channel. Arma 3 actually has a pretty good single-player campaign, and I wouldn't mind playing it at some point and uploading it on YouTube. I think that could be quite interesting. Please let me know what you think. Okay, let's get into our attack position. Six o'clock. Let's begin our attack. And as I said, we have a Panzer IV, we have a Wirbelwind, and here is the Nebelwerfer getting ready to fire. Beautiful. Even after all these years, Arma 3 is an absolutely beautiful game. I mean, look at that fog. And up ahead is the town that we want to take. There. And my gunner has found the target. He is engaging. Good job, gunner. And we will observe the situation. Looks like they're engaging some trucks. And the Nebelwerfer rockets are starting to land in the town. That will suppress the defenders. This is your wake-up call, gentlemen. Pretty evil wake-up call, if you ask me. So far, so good. Everything is progressing fine. Very good. I like this. hell was that? Ooh, that was a big bada boom in the town. I think some ammunition reserves have blown up. Nice. Okay, the half tricks have now arrived in the... Oh, another big boom. Yeah, I'd say some ammunition was hit at the train yard there. Nice. Okay, the half tricks are delivering the infantry to their initial positions. From there they will commence the assault once I give the signal. The half tricks will support with their machine guns. That one is still on its way, so we have to wait a little bit. But so far so good. Panzer 4 standing by, Wirbelwind standing by. Everything's okay. Are you guys in position? Getting there. Getting there. Hurry up, come on. Uh, I lost sight. Oh no, there it is. It's getting close now. Once I've initiated the next phase of the attack, the infantry will advance up to the edge of the town and establish a foothold there, while the half tricks provide covering fire with their machine guns. The Panzer IV and the Wirbelwind will move closer to the town. I will remain here for the moment and provide long-range fire support. 
then I will move closer to the town once the Panzer IV is in position. Okay, I believe... Yeah, you have arrived, you are unloading your troops. So far, so good. Once everybody's in position, we can commence the attack. Let's go. Everybody is now starting to move out. And yeah, the half tracks they are driving up to support. The naval werf is shooting another salvo at the town to once again suppress the defenders while the infantry is moving closer. So far, nothing to see in the town. Interesting. Vable winds slowly moving closer. Enemy tank. Okay. Turn in. Load armor piercing. And there. There. Muzzle flash. That's not a tank. That's an anti tank gun. Okay. I'll deal with enemy tanks for. Yeah, there. I feel that enemy tanks are more dangerous than an anti-tank gun. There's one. Where is it? Lost sight for the moment. No, I don't think that hit. There they come, there they come. I see three tanks at least. Okay, one is coming out into the open. Let's engage him. Hit. On fire. Let's take out that one. Hit. It is still coming. That did not take it out. Stop now. That makes it an easier target. Another hit. Again. Okay, they are, they are bailing. That tank is dead. There's another one up there. Shooting. Target acquired. There we go. Uh, missed the target. Another one. No. What was that? I think my gunner can't really see the target. So I might... Okay, they are moving actually. can't shoot like this, not while they're on the move. Did somebody take out that anti-tank gun? Looks like it, yeah. I guess the half-tracks took it apart with machine guns. Machine guns can be quite nasty. Okay, where's that final tank? I don't see it anymore. It drove away. Maybe it fled. might come back later, but he saw two of his bodies getting destroyed. He might not be too keen on returning. In that case, maybe we should use the opportunity and move closer to the town. Panzer IV and Wirbelwind should be preceding me. Now that the tank threat has moved away, I think they will move up, so let's go together with them. Let's keep an eye out for that final tank. Doesn't matter 
and support my infantry. And then together with them I will push into the town. Yeah, no eyes on that final tank. I think it's flat. Interesting. Yeah, let's get up on this road here. Very interesting. There we go. Oh, this is the Wilbervent engaging. Shooting into the town. This thing can tear up infantry. Okay, let's see. This might be a good position. Can we spot something from here? Oh yeah, the, the Wirbelwind is shooting into the town like crazy. That's gonna cause some damage. Hey, don't ram me. My god, the Wirbelwind is quite serious. What the hell was that? Okay, I'm not risking this, let's drive. And also, let's now order the infantry to advance into the town. Okay, I have no idea what that was, but let's drive into cover here. Did the tank come back? Another one that I missed. Panzer 4 is driving up. Let's see if he finds something. Shooting from my right side here. Might be my infantry there. Yeah, that's most certainly my infantry. Engaging. Let's come here. Take a look up that hill. Between that building. Okay, let's engage that then. Low tie explosive. Gunner's perspective. Sprenggranate. Give me 400 meters on that. And fire. Good hit. Hit the building. Oh, that one didn't pass through the structure there. Let's try that again. Nope. Aiming too high. That was a good one. Directly into the building. I'm sure that killed a lot of them. Good, 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 good. I see more movement over there. Damn it. Once again hit the metal structure. Ah. Yeah, let me maybe shoot past that thing, like so. Enemy tank, okay. Where? Is it coming back? No, that's coming from the right side there. And it's targeting that half-track. find what that is and take it out.
Just know there was an enemy tank out there. I don't know where it is though. That is pretty unnerving, I have to tell you. Maybe if he shoots again at something it will give me a clue. There's my infantry advancing. My god, my loader got killed. He was turned out with me. He's dead. This is such a bad situation. What if an enemy tank is over there? And I'm opening myself up to it completely. Okay, now what? Let's go down this road and get down here into this town, into this depression. That might be the safest option, actually. Because this will give us some cover and protection. Although we do get pretty close to enemy infantry, which in itself can be a danger. explosive. There's an enemy soldier there. I want him to go away. More enemy soldiers in the back of the town. Let's make them go away. Oh no. Load AP, load AP. Oh crap. Oh, he missed. He was premature. Got him. Oh my god. They are on fire. Okay, that's one tank less. Let's keep shooting at the enemy infantry at the end, end of the town there. guys are stumbling around on fire. They are not having a great time. Let's finish them off, maybe. Damn it. They will be finished off by my infantry. I won't waste any more shells on them. Now the question is, are there even more tanks? And I believe there might be at least one more. Somewhere to my right. Somewhere to my right might be another tank. Oh. Wirbelwind is engaging something. Let's load AP so that we don't get surprised. Oh, I see infantry in that house. Okay. Load high explosive then. And we'll put a shell right into there. There we go. That's done. There's one. Missed that shot. Okay, machine gun fire from the right. A lot of armor piercing. That might be a tank. Jesus Christ, the Weberwind is doing a lot to them. Okay, let's poke around the corner. I see enemy infantry. Hi there! Drove over a few of them. They're throwing grenades at me. I don't appreciate that. That 
that guy's gone. No, it isn't. How the? Now he is. Sometimes they're just lucky. Anybody else? Let's advance up this road. Could be a bad idea, but... Oh yeah, oh yeah, I see it. I believe there's a tank behind this bush. I believe... Yes, it's on fire. Load high explosive. More enemy infantry. If I'm not mistaken, these guys with the blue caps are NKVD troops. So taking them out... is not a bad thing. Okay. That was a tank, and it's dead now. Awesome. Let's keep advancing. And see if we can find more enemy soldiers to obliterate. Oh, there's one. That building is occupied. I think he's dead. I have five more high explosive shells. So I need to start to be a bit more careful with my ammunition. What do we have down here? There's a little pathway we can take to take a look into this house. Oh, there's, there's some. Oh, there's some of them. Hey, guys. You know, that's a bad idea to sit inside the house like that. Got you. Enemy inside this house here. And they are trying to take me out with grenades, but that won't work. Is the door open? Yes. Three more shells. Enemies inside this house, okay. This guy is shooting at my infantry. Let's try to take him out really quick. That was a bad idea. Oh, that's even worse idea. God damn it. Misclicked. I completely misclicked. How am I still alive? How am I still alive? Let me get back into the tank. Jesus, I'm wounded. Uh, just the arm. Oh boy, I messed up hard there. How am I still alive? Ooh, okay. First of all, Let's patch up the arm, and then I will turn this tank around, and I will put a shell into that building where this guy just fired from. Okay. I believe it was this one. Let's crush these obstacles. Give me a good line of sight on that building. He was shooting from somewhere up there, I believe.
should be dead. He should absolutely be dead. Let's take a look. Don't misclick this time. Also, reload the MP40. Oh no, he's still alive. Okay, looks like I have to go up there. And take care of it personally. Although I still have one round left, I think. So maybe if we shoot a shell from the other side, there might be a window. To the upper floor. Yes. I hope that did the trick. Let's take another look outside. Nope. Don't know from where that came from, but somebody is not friendly. However, we are out of ammunition for our big gun. So we actually do have to advance on foot, because I have no way to um, rearm this thing. So what I'll do is, we'll park this thing somewhere, we'll get out and we'll advance on foot. Is it safe here? Well, as safe as it can be apparently. Okay, let's clear out this part of the town. Our infantry is here with us. That's good, okay. I hear Russian voices. Let's take this building first. One dead guy. Maybe there are more upstairs. Yes, is the answer. Although this one is a bit... In yeah, well. It's done now. He's bleeding out right now. Okay. There's a lot of shooting at the other end of the town there. Yeah, 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 you're bleeding out. Stop talking. Okay, still a lot of rounds in my magazine. About two thirds full. Okay, there are my guys. Let's go to the next house, make sure this one's clear. Ground floor is clear, I'll go up. Clear. And that's basically mission one. The town is ours. Wow. What a mission. What an experience. This was quite intense, I can tell you. It's it's really something else to play such a scenario in armor. Because you have so much more ground clutter than in Steel Fury. It makes it so much harder to spot targets. It really does. Did I hear something? No. No, everything's fine. It really makes it harder to spot targets and to engage them. Oh, I heard the Russian voice. So maybe there's still somebody around here. Nobody in here. Nah. I think we are mostly done with them. Yeah, I think we're done. Ok, 
Okay, guys. Let's ignore that shooting and let's go back and get our tank. Grenade exploded in front of us. Okay, somebody's throwing a lot of grenades. Did we get him? Apparently no. Is it is somebody inside this house? Inside this ruin? Okay. We got him. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, you go there, and you... No, you go... There. My God, what a what a scenery! And this, this is me. Okay, that was today's mission. We are victorious. The town is ours. It was a struggle and we lost one crew member, unfortunately. But our Sturmgeschütz is fine. We are alive, that's what counts, although we do have a wound in our arm. But that can be fixed. And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. Please let me know if you enjoyed this. And until next time, have some great days. Goodbye.